Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. A lot of times I get emails and in comment section I am asked, what are the ways to write clean code? How do you become better developer? How do we start practicing how to write better code and clean code? A lot of times people also write to me asking, my PR, that is the pull request reviews are really tough. How do I get past them? How do I learn how to write better code and become a better developer? So I'm going to bring and show you seven ways that you can easily incorporate in your everyday coding or in your programming so that you write better and clean code. Let's look at them. The first and the foremost thing that I tell everyone, even in my team is always focus on one function, one job coding. That means write a smaller program, smaller function, which does only one simple job. This is the most basic fundamental principle in writing code. If you see yourself writing a large functionality or a feature into one big function, I always encourage that break it down into smaller functions. This really helps in maintaining, extending or changing logic easily. It also helps in testing easily. If you have smaller set of functions, they are much more easier to test than one big bang testing. So always focus on writing smaller functions, which does a simple job. That's number one rule. Number two, do not ignore naming conventions. This may sound very basic, but trust me, a lot of times we do not follow or the developers do not follow this rule. Take some time in thinking what is the name that you want to provide for your variable, for your class name, for your function. And the rule that I follow personally is 10, 10 second rule, which means write down the name, think about it for 10 seconds, write it down and then read it. And in 10 seconds, you will know whether that name makes sense for that particular variable function or class name. Trust me, this may sound very basic dumb thing, but I've seen really bizarre names in the code and that doesn't really make you feel good. So make sure that whenever you write, take some time in writing the names correctly, which is which makes your code easy to understand, easy to follow. Now, this is the most important thing that I keep telling everyone that do not hard code the values. Never ever hard code the values. Read that line again. Never ever hard code the values. Now let me explain that in little detail of how you should handle it better. Whenever possible, put the variables which are static or constant in your config files or environment files. For example, if you have a URL for a S3 bucket, if you have a URL for an endpoint, always try and capture it in the config files or the environment files. If you have a list of values that you want to pass, try and define an enum and use that enum value that you define. The reason being that tomorrow, if the value changes, you just have to change it in one place so that you don't go around entire code to changing wherever it is used. So the ground rule is whenever possible, put the static configurations in your local ENV or environment configuration file. The second rule is whenever possible, if it's a list of fixed values, try putting them into an enum and export them so that you can easily use or modify it down the line. The next one is use Boolean values as they are meant to be. I see a lot of code written with if else conditions, even for Boolean values. Do not write this code. Boolean values are supposed to be true or false and write it in a better way. Like an example I have given here, you do not have to write if the condition is true for that Boolean variable. You can just say return based on the condition. So it will return you true or false. You don't have to write that extra if else block. So use the Booleans as they're supposed to do rather than just writing if else condition, it will increase your lines of code and it's not a really great practice. Then this is something that every developer, be it 
front end back end or any any programming that you do you must start adding comments and at least for your own sake trust me you will not remember your own code after 3 weeks and you would start wondering why was this written in a certain way and that's where writing comments comes into picture writing good comment is also an art take time don't write if don't document each and every line nobody expects that but having said that if you are writing a logic try and give a one liner good one liner to explain why you are doing it in certain way that you are doing and that would add a lot of value to whoever is reading the code or trying to work with your code finally writing good variable names is a skill okay now it has to be a meaningful name i have seen random names like const a equal to music etc in production code which is really bad nobody knows what is a here right and similarly when you are making a name right try to give it a meaning so that whoever reads that variable name follows what is happening in the code like an example can manage content right this is a much better name then saying const a equal to something right so whoever reads this comment can manage comment gives a message that yes can the user manage the comments or not so something like this which is more meaningful helps you helps only you first in terms of writing better code because your code will start following those logic also so writing good names in variables while coding also helps you in finalizing the the logic or the algorithm that it has to follow last avoid duplicate code and now at a lot of times if you are working on a little complex um, environment then what happens is you would have some code which may be you want to reuse it in some other places in the application as well now how do you handle such use cases so the golden rule is if you find yourself wanting to use some code multiple places in the application take it out create a new function or create a new class separately so that it's easy for you to just reuse the code rather than writing or copy pasting the same code again we all know this but i'm sure you would find yourself in multiple places in your experience that you would have seen that there are multiple instances of the same logic so it's a good practice that always write it or separate it out into a new uh, function so that it's much easy to maintain and it's much easy to work with you have less code to worry about then so those are the top um, i would say the tips that i can give you to start writing clean code it's extremely important it's extremely um, it's a practice it you won't get it right the very first time or nobody sits down saying that i want to write good code it comes with a lot of practice it comes with a lot of discipline in terms of thinking before you write the code let me know your thoughts on this if you like this video please do give a like please do subscribe to my channel also please do subscribe for more such videos thank you so much see you in the next episode